you, know, you guys picked fourth in the league, your preseason first team all SEC. What do you think about, you know, first off the team? You pick four. Um, no, I, I think it's the poll, honestly. Like, my opinion, I think we're better than fourth in the league, but I think that our game good talking. And, you know, kind of same question. You played just half a season last year, but people saw enough of you to vote you, you know, with preseason all SEC. How do you, you know, how do you take that? What does that feel like? I mean, it, it's a best for God, because really, it's coming in last year. I wasn't just expecting to be, uh, to just blow up and be able to play right away. So, I think anything at this point that I've proven is just, uh, Blessing from God because I didn't expect it. So. Does that put any pressure on you? I mean, you feel like you go in kind of with a target on your back as a you know, first team all league? Uh, not really. I'm going to just play my game. I'm not going to I'm not gonna put up any more shots or play any more selfish. What? Yeah, man. So my game. You said you were surprised. What were you expecting of yourself last year? Um, last year, I was pretty much expecting to come in, you know, practice one or two days, and pretty much decide if I'm going to play the whole year or not. I guess I got feedback these, the first two days that you know, I was SEC ready. That, that's pretty much how it went. So you weren't even sure you were going to be playing at all? I, I, I might, might have read it. Yeah. Colonel, just how much has your approach to practice, has it changed at all going into this season now that you've kind of got you know, half a season under your belt and kind of know yeah, what to I expect? Last year, um, I pretty much went into practice like hopefully I get through it because I, I pretty much was prepared for these practices. And now it's more like I prepare for these practices like it's a game. I mean, I'm doing much better than I have in the past. So I'm in way better shape. So that's, that's, that's one of the biggest keys to my game right now, being in better shape. You're talking about physically, but also mentally. I mean, did you have to adjust? You know, did you think yeah, you're better I mean, mentally, I, too? I know the plays. Uh, I just got a lot more a lot more confidence. You know, I can demand the ball now. I mean, just being able to know my teammates better, I can talk to them now. It's just, it, it, you can tell it's a big difference for me uh, playing last year and this year. I think it's credit to me, uh, my coaches and my teammates basically helping me out last year, throwing me on the floor instead of wrestling. How much of an issue was your stamina last year? How much what? Stamina, how much of an issue was that late game? It was more, it was, it was a lot of games where I was just dog tired at the end. It was horrible. It honestly was, and I think in a lot of games, besides the end of the game, maybe I didn't dunk the ball, maybe I, I laid the ball up. But I think that would be a big difference this year. John, what, I'm sorry, what did you do on your own in terms of helping out with that conditioning? What, what was like a normal workout day for you, maybe in terms of conditioning for you in the offseason? Well, I mean, just going through offseason workouts, first of all, somebody had never been through. That, that's a lot of on its own. And then, you know, individual workouts is going hard for maybe a quick 30 minutes. You know, I don't I need to be in the gym too long for hours, no more than 30 minutes. So just doing, continuously doing that and training my mind to go as hard as I can, that's just a big difference. And then eating up there, I, I let go a lot of bad foods, Gatorades and stuff that I used to drink.